In this video, we will look at two examples of using the shortcut method to factor a trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c. To factor a trinomial in this form, we need to find two integers, which we'll call r and s, whose product is c, where c is the constant term in the trinomial, and whose sum is b, where b is the coefficient of x, or the coefficient of the degree one term. So if we can find the two integers whose product is equal to c and whose sum is equal to b, then the factored form of x squared plus bx plus c equals the quantity x plus r times the quantity x plus s. And the order of these two binomial factors does not matter. It can also be written as the quantity x plus s times the quantity x plus r. So looking at our first example, we have x squared plus seven x minus 18. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Next, notice c is equal to negative 18, and b is equal to positive seven. So we're looking for two integers, r and s, whose product is equal to negative 18, and whose sum is equal to positive seven. To help us determine the value of r and s, let's list all the pairs of integers that have a product of negative 18. So we could have negative one times positive 18, negative 18 times positive one, negative two times positive nine, negative nine times positive two, as well as negative three times six, or negative six times positive three. So we're looking for the pair of integers whose product is equal to negative 18 and has a sum of positive seven. And therefore the integers we're looking for are negative two and positive nine because negative two plus nine is equal to positive seven. Again, these are the two integers that we want because negative two times positive nine equals negative 18 and negative two plus nine is equal to positive seven. So we'll let r equal negative two and s equal positive nine, and this is what we need in order to factor the given trinomial. Because r is equal to negative two, one factor of the trinomial would be the binomial x plus negative two, or just x minus two. And because s equals nine, another binomial factor would be x plus nine. This is the factored form of the given trinomial. Before we look at the second example though, Let's multiply this out just to verify this product equals the given trinomial. We know when multiplying two binomials, we'll have four products. One method is to use repeated distribution. To do this, we distribute the first term in the first binomial into the second binomial, which gives us two products. And then we distribute the second term in the first binomial into the second binomial, giving us two more products. Distributing the x, we have x times x, which equals x squared. And then we have x times nine, that's nine x, so plus nine x. And then we distribute the negative two. Negative two times x equals negative two x, or minus two x. And then negative two times positive nine equals negative 18, or minus 18. Notice how we have two like terms here. Simplifying, we get x squared plus seven x minus 18, which verifies this trinomial is factored correctly. And now let's take a look at our second example. We're given the trinomial y squared minus 11 y plus 24. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Next, notice c is equal to positive 24 and b is equal to negative 11. So we're looking for two integers that have a product of positive 24 and have a sum of negative 11. And again, we'll call these two values r and s. Notice how because the integers must have a negative sum and a positive product, both integers will need to be negative. So let's list the pairs of integers that give us a product of positive 24. And again, we know both integers must be negative. So for example, negative one times negative 24, negative two times negative 12, negative three times negative eight, or negative four times negative six. Again, we're looking for the integers that have a sum of negative 11. 
and therefore we're looking for the integers negative three and a negative eight. Again, because negative three times negative eight equals positive 24, and negative three plus negative eight equals negative 11. So let's let r equal negative three and s equal negative eight. So because r equals negative three, one binomial factor will be y plus negative three, or just y minus three. And because s equals negative eight, another binomial factor will be y plus negative eight, or just y minus eight. So this is the factored form of the given trinomial, but again, let's verify this by multiplying this out. Again, we'll have four products, one, two, three, and four. Y times y equals y squared. Y times negative eight is negative eight y or minus eight y. Negative three times y equals negative three y or minus three y. And finally, negative three times negative eight is equal to positive 24, so we have plus 24. Combining like terms, negative eight y minus three y equals negative 11 y. So we have y squared minus 11 y plus 24, verifying this is the correct factored form of the given trinomial. I hope you found this helpful.